So while I have this speaker on my desk, I figured I could go into detail as um, for what parts this contains. So in the case, we have the battery. And this is two 18650 cells in parallel. So that's two 18650 um, 3.7 volt lithium ion batteries in parallel, um, meaning that um, the voltage is going to be 3.7 volts because that's what one cell is. And so in parallel, it means that we just get more capacity out of it. Um, and as I already said, the problem with this is that the batteries are completely dead. They're reading zero volts. And for a lithium ion battery, that's not safe because um, lithium ion batteries are on, they're only rated to um, go be drained to about, uh, to a, probably about 3.5, 3.2 volts at, at maximum is how far you would want to drain them. You don't want to drain them to zero, which is what this happened. So probably just a, either there, either there's a built-in BMS on the battery, so battery management system that's causing that, or there's some kind of problem with the battery control. But if we replace the battery, then we could figure that out. Um, for the speakers themselves, we have four ohm speakers instead of eight ohm. And 4 ohm, 4 ohm makes more sense in this situation because 4 ohm is um, uh, less power required to drive it. So we don't need as big of an amplifier, um, which is helpful. Underneath this cushion, we have the Bluetooth chip. Um, that's a Bluetooth receiver chip. Um, it's not actually a chip, it's just a separate PCB that they actually put. This is very common in Bluetooth speakers. It's a separate PCB that they end up putting onto the PCB itself. Um, anyway, all that's left in the case is just the battery. Um, we have an indicator LED right here. Um, because there's three legs on it, we can tell that this is a two-color LED because there's three legs on it. Um, meaning that one is common and the other two are the, uh, are, it's probably either common anode or common cathode, and then the other two are just the other sides of the LED. Um, that's all that's on this side. There's holes, obviously, for the speakers to fit through so that it can be more compact in the case. Up here, very common. This is, this is basically all Bluetooth speakers these days. We have some input of charging, in this case, micro USB. Newer stuff, probably USB-C. We have a 3.5 millimeter audio jack and a charging indicator. Um, there's a microphone in the case. Uh, I don't know why you would want a microphone on a Bluetooth speaker. It's not like you're gonna wanna take calls on a Bluetooth speaker anyway, unless you're a complete jerk and you just wanna annoy people. Uh, but there, I guess there are people out there like that. Um, we have the I.O., so all of the buttons that control the speaker. Um, one of these chips, probably this one, um, is an audio amplifier. Another one is probably responsible for battery charging and battery management. So it's a, a BMS, or yeah, battery management system. Uh, we have all of these uh, all these passive components, so resistors and uh, capacitors. Um, battery comes in right there. I've desoldered the battery because that's how it's connected and I had to be able to take it out. Um, we have a fairly large resistor there. I'm not really sure what that would be for. Maybe it's a current shunt for um, sensing charging current, but I'm not sure. Um, yeah, one of these two chips of the, the four pin or the eight pin ones are probably either, one is probably a battery management system and the other is something to do with controlling the thing, um, maybe talks to the Bluetooth chip or whatever. This is more than likely, uh, very likely the amplifier right here. Um, amazing what you can get out of a amplifier of that size. SMD components are amazing, what you can do with them uh, and how much power you can get out of them. We have a diode here for something, probably amplifier related, I don't know. We have an inductor, um, but yeah, that's basic insides. Charging, input, those have Bluetooth input. Remember that um, the Bluetooth probably the Bluetooth chip probably has a, a DAC or a digital analog converter built into it, and it just feeds a direct audio signal out of it. 
Um, but yeah, that's the basis of a regular Bluetooth speaker. We just have these, just the standard Bluetooth speaker. You have buttons for an input. So that's probably volume. So volume up, um, power, you know, Bluetooth connection, whatever else play, you know, pause play maybe. Um, yeah. Yeah. That's the anatomy of that. Fairly simple. All the different parts. Um, really not too complex at all. Their Bluetooth speaker is fairly easy to make on your own if you wanted to. Yeah, and this is probably some acoustic chamber for um, to make it more bassy, is what I would say. Um, I don't know for sure, though, but yeah. Yeah, fairly simple.